Hi, I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. I rise today in opposition to Obamacare. Everybody seems to have an opinion of the not really a filibuster by Senator Ted Cruz. Some say he was grandstanding. Others say he was standing on principle. Personally, I'd say he was grandstanding on principle. And I, I'm okay with that. I mean, it's part of how Washington works. But remember not too long ago when a Texas state lawmaker made a lengthy speech, grandstanding on principle? And by the time it was over, a lot of people knew the name Wendy Davis. NBC News painted her as a hero. In an elegant white suit and comfy pink sneakers, a rising political star. But essentially, she was arguing that abortion clinics should be less safe than other surgical centers. After Cruz spoke all night on behalf of families, do you think NBC News called him a rising star? Is there anything real behind this political theater? Well, so far, no. I mean, it's just nothing but escape. the world's longest TED it. Talk. Since I know you likely didn't stay up all night watching C-SPAN, here's what the mainstream media wants you to remember about Cruz's big speech. Most things can be fixed with duct tape, extension cords, Obamacare. Ain't nobody got time for that. And here's what you really should remember. There is a problem in Washington, and the problem is bigger than a continuing resolution. It's bigger than Obamacare. It's even bigger than the budget. The most fundamental problem, the frustration, is that the men and women in Washington aren't listening. Which raises a simple question. Are we even bothering to tell our elected officials what we think?